Hello. Okay. So this topic is a lot fluffier than the last one, and it's called the chicken cam. So my name is John Hobbs. I uh, at John Hobbs I make a website for dogs called Pack. Um, I'm also starting a tiny farm uh, just outside Blair. Uh, it's called Buttercup. Uh, you probably will never hear anything again because I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I grew up in suburban and, and cities and stuff my whole life, so this is all fresh and new. Uh, so I figured I should do something uh, that I do know, uh, and so my goal was to watch chickens online because we had uh, a batch of chickens. And, uh, you know, because why not chickens? You know, that's fun. <clears throat> so the supplies that I had on hand was a uh, Raspberry Pi that I had done nothing constructive with up to this point, a uh, webcam, obviously, and 21 chickens in a cardboard circle. <laughs> so here's the problem with live streaming. Like, legit, you know, it, it'd be easy, you know, just throw up something that does an MJPEG stream or, I don't know, there's lots of stuff out there. That's the problem with live streaming. Uh, I work from home. This is my uh, extremely expensive uh, DSL line, and it is not very fast, and I don't want people soaking it up looking at chickens. So, I mean, chickens are important, but not that important. Uh, so let's roll our own, I thought. Um, so this is the basic idea I came up with. Um, so that you could have multiple people looking at it at the same time, I figured uh, I've got a, a HTTP server that serves up JPEGs on the Raspberry Pi, and then I would have this process out, out there um, that would fetch an image from the webcam, stick it in a buffer, and then sleep, uh, and if anybody recently requested an image, it would serve it, and then... Um, you know, if nobody's looked at it in a while, it just goes to sleep and stays asleep, and it doesn't ask for JPEGs when nobody's looking at it. So pretty straightforward. Uh, I figured I'd use Node, uh, mostly because it's single-threaded. Uh, there's no mutexes to worry about with that buffer, um, because that's just going to be raw binary JPEG. Um, it's got easy HTTP stuff, and why not? Then when I, I can do a presentation at the rest of the days. All right, so I mean, this is this is really simple stuff. Um, the first part was to get my image uh, from the webcam, and that is as simple as uh, this callback, where every time I get a chunk, I stick it in uh, an image buffer, uh, and then when it's all done, I swap the buffer out with the, the latest image, uh, and I throw a timestamp in there, um, and I you know refresh and do it all over again. Uh, one thing was um, setting that encoding to binary was something that got me for a long time because by default you'll get a string object when what you really want is a buffer object if you're working with binary. So that's, that's kind of the only gotcha on this. And then here's that update image, uh, which I was at the bottom, you see the set timeout for that. Uh, update image, basically, uh, has anybody looked at it? Check the, you know, check variables and then shoot off the HTTP request. Real simple. Serving image is also simple. I didn't bother with the frameworks or anything. I just grabbed the you know default node stuff. Um, if uh, they're looking for slash image, uh, grab it out of the buffer and send it. I had a index HTML file and stuff with a little bit of templating that's just string substitution. So pretty easy. Front end is uh, on load. I've got a like a loading image, and I swap it out, and uh, I've got a sad face image in case the image fails. <clears throat> and then to just get around caching on stuff, I've got every time I request a new one in that update function, I uh, change you know add on a timestamp at the end. I'm sure there's a better way to do that, but this is where we're at. All right, so demo. So there's some chickens at my house, <laughs> hanging out. One of them decided to get in front of the camera because he's a jerk, I guess. And I don't know how to get back. Oh, now they're moving. So. I think it's an open in the 
listen to him. Oh, okay. I still don't know how to be back. Hey. So, uh, improvements. Uh, Matt Steele uh, suggested Socket.io so that I didn't have to do the, you know, pause. I could real time shut down the, my uh, image serving. Um, some better error handling. <laughs> Uh, and so I did those things, and you can check it out on GitHub there if you're really into chickens. Uh, yeah. Questions, anybody? <laughs> They've gotten a lot bigger, by the way. They're huge now. So, uh, if anybody has a suggestion for a better way to do this, I would love to hear it because I can't. I can't believe there's nothing I could find that was better. So, that's all. So everything's running off of the Raspberry Pi? We'll no, go. oh, um, actually the only thing running on the Raspberry <laughs> Pi is a little C program that uses, um, you know, grabs an image off the webcam and serves it over HTTP. Sorry. Everything else, the Node stuff is on Heroku. So it, that, that part is outside of my link so that anybody hitting that doesn't take my bandwidth. Okay. That's cool. So you can like just hard code your IP address in the Heroku or something? I used a dynamic DNS thing. So I've got a um, oh, DDWRT on that router, so it updates it for me. But I have yet to get a new, new IP, so. Yeah. You got easy DDoS uh, opportunities on your bandwidth. Oh yeah, you could. If you find out, well, I don't expose it, but if you figure it out, you can crush me. So. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's probably in that slide. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.